Virgin America is the first airline in the United States that has all of its flights in the United States have Wi-Fi on the plane. Why? Because research has shown that 76% of frequent flyers will choose an airline that has Wi-Fi when that's an option over an airline that does not have it. The fact is we want that always on connection. More and more customers crave to have that access. When I walk into a hotel, the first question I ha ask is, what's the Wi-Fi and do I need a password to use it? You know, we think of games, video games, as a tool for uh, entertainment, but more and more businesses are using them. Uh, this is a great example. Um, uh, IBM, Sandy Carter, who, who teaches in my uh, class at Columbia, was telling me about this program they developed for a B2B uh, software called WebSphere. Okay, this is for business process management. It's a very complicated software, complicated topic, so their goal is to educate the marketplace about it. They created a video game. You have a scenario, you have your joystick, there's your villains, your enemies, and you have to you know, get the call center to work better, or you have to beat them in the supply chain, or you have to you know, reduce your carbon footprint in time before the end of the quarter. And so it's using all these game scenarios to teach you about how this software works. What IBM has found is this game has actually become the number one lead generator for that business unit. So increasingly, businesses are creating a business that's all about something that other people can build on. You can add your business to my business, and we both make money. So if you think of the iPhone and the iPad, what has made them so successful has been the apps. There are now 350,000 apps that can change your iPad and your iPhone into so many different tools, so many different things. They've been downloaded billions of times. It's made this such an incredibly powerful platform. And we know the guy who made this happen, right? We all know the fellow who made this innovation work, right? No, it's not Steve Jobs. It's this guy, Lim Ding Wen, and 50,000 other people around the world who were the developers who wrote all those apps. Apple did not make them. Apple could not have made them. It was because they opened their platform so that people like this kid, he made a program called Doodle Kids. When he was nine years old, he programmed it for his little sisters. He put it on the App Store, and in three months, 480,000 downloads. This is a model of collaboration.